Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. You guys are probably opening your weekend league rewards here in a few hours, so good luck to you guys doing that because it is Thursday and that means it is weekend league rewards day and Thursday flipping day on the market for a lot of people like us, uh, traders and ultimate team um, coin making enthusiast. Obviously, uh, our content from Wednesday was basically just this loading screen telling us that team of the year is in fact on the same day that they had originally said on their website, which is uh, January 6th. Again, happy new year to you guys. It's 2020. Hopefully EA starts off the new year with a bang with the content. Last year at the beginning of 2019 is when the content actually really took off and it changed. It seemed like the second half of FIFA 19 content wise was crazy compared to the first half and to what we were used to in the team of the year time span and after on FIFA. So hopefully that continues this year as well. Hopefully they knock it out of the park for the second half of FIFA 20, which we are basically in the second half of FIFA 20 now, if you think about it, uh, in terms of the FIFA calendar and stuff like that. So welcome to the second half of FIFA 20. But I wanted to make a video today talking about a few things, talking about the team of the week that is now in packs, uh, talking about what happened today with this, also talking about the rewards market and what I do see happening this weekend as we do head into team of the year and as you guys know the market is crazy low at the moment stuff is just stupid stupid low um this team of the week i think this week you will see a rise in some areas of the market that's why it, we're talking about thursday flipping if you haven't bought any cards yet this video will go live right before weekend league rewards so as you can tell i do have a few cards that i have purchased um that are just kind of like you know middle to low tier priced premier league informs and special cards that i think People might go out if they pack a good red, they pack the Kane card, maybe they pack Martial or Aguero um, or any of those guys. They might go out and try to throw a team together. Um, I think the reds are really what I'm trying to link for with these. I'm trying to look for links to those red cards. You see all my cards that I bought are basically Premier League, a couple La Liga guys in here. But I really haven't bought too much, and that's because I bought some 250k uh, De Bruyne's here, and then this Messi was at 1.099, so that was a great price on that card. So I'm trying to flip that and make some coins on that one right there. But there's still maybe a little bit of time before rewards with Thursday flipping, so maybe some Premier League informs that haven't risen up yet. If you can get any cheap ones on bid late at night in this market, early morning for you UK guys, I would definitely look there. Now this team of the week is an interesting one. They juiced it. They juiced the crap out of this team of the week, which is interesting. It makes sense as we're going into team of the year. Hey, let's boost this team of the week with the first half of team of the year. These cards will be in packs and, you know, more incentive for more people to open packs, right? But multiple issues. I just want to talk about like the EA issues for a little bit really quick with this tweet today. They first tweeted the team out today at 3 p.m. UK, 10 a.m. my time, the normal time. They tweeted out a 92 Harry Kane with basically no statistical upgrade compared to his 92 team of the group stage card. So they made an error on that card. And they also, when they first tweeted out, it said hashtag team of the year. We were really confused, like what was going on with that? So they took that, they took that tweet down, excuse me. And they updated this hair card, which is currently extinct on the market. And they actually boosted him pretty well from the 92. Plus three pace, plus two passing, plus one uh, shot. But the pace is huge. Plus three pace on the 93 Harry Kane. So he gets up to 80 pace uh, on that card. So I think some people might be interested in that card. It is extinct right now at 170. That's going to be a card you're going to want to keep an, a keen eye on at rewards. And that's one of the first things I want to talk about this in this video. Kind of looking at um, some of the rewards flips and stuff like that. Obviously, this Harry Kane is extinct right now at 170. Will they up his price range? I think they will. Let me check and make sure that it hasn't been updated already as we're sitting here right now. But um, I do think they will update his price range. It just makes sense for them to do that. Usually when there's an extinction before rewards, they do update the price range before then. Um, but uh, we'll see what actually happens with this. It looks like it's still extinct at the moment. Uh, the Group Stage Harry Kane cards right around 110k, I believe, for this card, which is pretty low. Um, but since that, it is, we kind of have the same situation with Lewandowski, right? Lewandowski, his group stage card got the 80, above 80 pace, which none of his other informs had. So you see that card having a little bit extra value because it's got that extra pace. Now, of course, these new informs don't have a dynamic image. So the newest Kane card does not have a dynamic image from this week's team of the week yet. I don't know if they're going to add them or not. Um, but 
that might make the 92 still you know worth something or other a little bit but if the cane comes out of extinction and it's somewhere around like 250k then i do think you might see this rise back up to like 120 130 ish maybe so maybe a little bit of a rebound on the group stage cane just because it looks cool um but the 80 pace is going to be huge and that's going to keep that 93 cane uh kind of up in price other some other the informs uh some of the other informs from this week's team of the week not javi martinez i want anthony martial i want to talk about this with you guys really quick because this is something that i did in past fifas um with the new team of the weeks when they got new team of the week cards there is a way where you can trade with brand new team of the week cards uh during rewards because rewards is their first time where they get packed and if it's a usable card but it's high enough rated that it's not going to get packed enough right and a good way to tell if it's good uh in terms of if it's rare or not, is you can look at the supply before weekend league rewards. And right now, Anthony Martial having only two pages on the entire market for this inform card tells me that this card's pretty rare. Now there could be a few position change ones at center mid, but if even if we compare price, which doesn't work because of the compare price glitch, there's probably not more than three pages three pages of this card on the market, and that interests me. This is a card out of this team of the week that I think a lot of people would want to try. So you might see him get packed. A decent amount of rewards. He's 250,000 coins right now. Um, and it's a pretty sizable boost on his card. It's kind of comparable to the road to the final. The This card right here. It's actually really comparable to the 86. Plus three physical is the biggest stat change. So they gave him a pretty solid boost from his first inform, the 83 to the 85. So I think there's going to be a lot of people interested in using this card. If you see him get down to like 200k during rewards, he gets packed a bunch during rewards. I don't know how many people are going to open packs though, because I think a lot of people might save those packs for team of the year, which is coming on Monday. So again, if you do see this guy though, if you see this guy, or if you see maybe Aguero, maybe Conte, like if it's one of the meta high rated guys from this week's team of the week that is usable, Ericsson, I'm not so sure about. This will be under 100k after rewards, I think. Uh, Alexander Arnold will be one as well that if you see it just if you see it take a pretty sizable hit during rewards and it still looks pretty rare on the market when you're comparing the prices especially if it's this Martial card like if he gets down to like 210 even I would be very very intrigued with that card price and I would probably think that there's a chance that some of those informs that are high rated that people would want to try out could go up later in the day on Thursday because I don't I'm not expecting a kind of ton of content today on Thursday to be honest with you I really don't expect a lot of stuff to come out maybe an SBC or something maybe a league SBC that they haven't released yet uh, it's really tough to say uh, but I just don't really think there's going to be a ton of content because we're heading into team of the year I mean obviously they want us focused on that because they have that as a loading screen at the moment so I do think that's why I invested for for weekend league rewards because I think there's a possibility that some of these cards do rise a little bit after rewards on the lower tier market especially just because people are going to be getting red picks and maybe they want to link up uh some of those those red picks together and, and get uh some of those cards in their club and people like trying out new cards as well and the cane inform the uh, that inform is really not expected at all this week where's this aguero flippin says aguero is 280 i don't see any aguero at 280 I did that did kind of seem cheap so I'm not sure why this Aguero isn't showing up at 280k unless it's extinct and that's his price range no there it is there was the Aguero right there not nah, Aguero's 750 so yeah 280 that was like a big undercut on Aguero right there that's interesting it's interesting that Footpin says this price is 280 anyways just watch those cards during rewards if they take a huge hit you might see a bit of a rise on them after rewards and same things with like other special cards on the market a lot of people invested in other Premier League specials like I did. Mares is in forms. Firmino, uh, the, what is this, a record breaker or hero card. Sterling team of the group stage card. Sterling this uh, team of the year nominee card. Let me bid on that one really quick, please. I want that bid. Uh, we're going to go bid on this one really quick. But some of these cards that people invested in for Thursday flipping, a lot of people have been told to wait to sell until... Um, or to sell before 6 p.m. UK on Thursday because of the worry of more content coming out. I don't think we have that worry this week. I really don't think there's going to be a lot of stuff heading into, into Thursday this week. So today, basically. So I would just chill on it, man. I would just chill on your cards and sell them Friday morning in like the peak time of Weekend League. That's a nice deal right there. We'll take that. That should be 150 or above. 
um, this after rewards, I think. Uh, so yeah, I don't think you have to sell your cards right away before 6 p.m. UK today on Thursday if you're doing anything Thursday flipping wise. That's my personal opinion on that. Uh, so just keep that in mind that I think this market should rise into Friday and maybe even into the night a little bit on Friday as well into Saturday morning before we see the weekend league sell off in the end of uh, the weekend league stuff. But again, you know, a lot of these cards, I do think they're going to rise up a little bit this weekend on the lower end, the lower end of the spectrum, especially is where I really like those. Wow. Open bids on some of these cards as well. People preparing to sell before rewards, which is interesting. Very, very interesting. So that's kind of how I feel about that kind of stuff uh, on the market. At the moment, the index for stuff, even some icons are low. Like stuff on the market is still really low. And if you guys are trying to offload something uh, before team of the year, whether it's uh, an icon, like a prime icon, if you have any prime icons in your team, I would highly consider maybe dishing those cards out at some point this weekend. Maybe they rise up a little bit for the weekend league. A lot of these icons usually rise up for the weekend league as well. Like if we look at Ian Rush, 278K for the middle version. What did he do last week? Uh, last week, he didn't really move much at all. But some of these icons, you can look through some of them that, that drop down a bunch. Essien maybe, maybe this Essien card, 87, 521. Last week on Wednesday before rewards, he was 560, he went up to 613. So, um, you know, some of this stuff is pretty low. And I do think some of the icons can move, if you're, especially if you're looking to get out of a prime. Uh, because that would be the number one type of card that I would be not worried, I guess, but the most thoughtful of, and maybe worried about you guys getting out of before team of the year actually comes out. Because I do think these guys are going to be packed a lot during lightning rounds. And that's going to be a problem if you own one of them, right? Because they're going to get packed a lot, lots more supply on the game. And, uh, that just means a cheaper price on the market because they're getting more supply. So Take the money on any prime icons that you would have this weekend, I would say. And if it's a really, really meta card um, that is a mid icon, maybe like a somebody like a Ronaldo, like an R9 Ronaldo 94, I might take the coins on a guy like this too, because I think there's going to be a sell off more on the icons this coming weekend as people prepare to sell those icons and before the team of the year cards do come out and before that gets released on Monday. So that's the only type of card that I really feel like you have to get out of this weekend. But if there's another card that you just kind of want to get out of for maybe personal reasons, or you just want to have coins and you have a lot of coins in one card, then maybe you have a chance to do that this weekend uh, as well. And that could be a good option for you and uh, just getting those coins liquid and stuff like that. So that's kind of your last chance to do uh, some of those things on the market. If you have somebody in your team like an Mbappe or a Neymar, I don't feel like you have to sell them. I really, really don't feel like you have to sell them this week because if you're if they're in your team already, if you're selling them right now, he's probably not going to be much. I don't I don't see Mbappe or Neymar dropping to a lot lower price range over the next few days, just because for team of the year they're most likely going to be out of packs. If they put the team of the year nominee cards back into packs during team of the year, this gold card would be out of packs, and this is an, a, the type of card that a lot of people are going to want to buy for their teams. Um, at that. So right now these cards are pretty, pretty cheap. Neymar is 700 K, which is really cheap. Actually just dipping under 700 last weekend. I think he might've hit his cheapest point last weekend where he was 660, 650 at a point. So I think you've seen these cards hit almost their absolute lowest, unless EA drops an absolute bomb of a team of the year promotion on us. And they put like crazy stuff back into packs. If that's possible, then you might see some more panic on these cards, but I still think they're getting to a point that is low enough that is basically just just too low. I really do think it is just like too low for some of those cards. And I'm not worried about them, I guess, but if you're gonna buy them, I talked about that in my video yesterday. If you're looking when to buy cards, I do think you wanna buy before team of the year if you wanna take that risk because uh, some of these cards are just, just too stinking low. So again, today's market, a little bit I wanna talk about, but also I wanna talk about the upcoming player of the months as well, because some people have been mentioning to me they're expecting uh, La Liga Player of the Month today because the Messi SBC expires uh, today, basically at 6 p.m. UK on Thursday. So they're expecting the next La Liga Player of the Month today. Uh, do not buy high rateds if you think that is coming because I do not think that SBC is coming. We haven't even seen voting for it yet on Twitter. I mean, it's the, it's the second day of January. I don't think they've put together the stuff yet to form the voting for La Liga Player of the Month. I think EA specifically made this SBC end 
before it should have. It wasn't out for a full like month, which a lot of these other player of the months were. I think they ended this specifically before team of the year so that this SBC would not be, be available during team of the year for all the packs that are opened. High rated can go cheap and make this SBC really cheap. And also they would not, the, people would not lose as many coins on a team of the year messy card when that comes out. Because if this SBC was there, I think that would bring the team of the year S card price down a little bit more. Now, of course, we will find out what the impact of this messy SBC is based on his team of the year card price and his other specials. Um, but I do think those other specials have a chance to rise because once this SBC goes away, we see it with all other types of cards, right? A lot of times the other special cards for that person, uh, they kind of are held in check maybe during a period when that SBC is in, when this SBC leaves. Uh, you no longer have the ability to get this card and some of those cards do rise up. So I am, I don't think we're getting a La Liga player of the month today though because the voting isn't even out yet. I don't even think they decided the short list. So if you're somebody who's expecting that, I don't think I would be accept, accepting or expecting that SBC today. Taking a look at some of the cheapest players by rating, I don't think we're getting any more re-release SBCs, but they are holding some of the 83s up a little bit, at least at the moment. Same thing with the 84s and 85s. Please let these get drop, like let these drop. 86s are still a little bit high as well. Let these get to like 13K. Let the 85s get big, get back down to like 8K, 7K, and let the 84s get into the four, like below four and into 3K range before you start to think about club stocking these. I think the high rated, like the 88s and the 89s, are gonna drop a little bit today when the messy SBC goes away, because that's kind of the only thing requiring these right now. You do have the base icon SBC out, but that requires 86 rated squads. So maybe a little bit of, you know, demand for the base icon is held in these, but I do think these are going down in price actually before we even get to team of the year. So that's my personal opinion on some of the 80, the 87s, the 88s and the 89s could go down a little bit more. Same with the 90 and the 91s, like old blocks. I know it was a popular SBC investment for a lot of you guys. And he's pretty low, but I think he's going to go even a little bit lower. 49,000 coins. Uh, yeah, he's he's pretty low. So again, if, if you are wanting to do that messy SBC, it's actually decently cheap right now because all the high rated are, are low. But that's just, that's a, uh, a, a decision that you're going to have to make kind of on your own. But today for content wise, I don't expect too much. I mean, we didn't get anything today on, on Wednesday when I'm recording this, so... It seems like all is going to be quiet and all is going to be kind of chill until we get to um, team of the year. So these uh, these flashback re-release SBCs are going to be gone over the weekend. Maybe they throw in like a random uh, flashback player SBC that would be pretty random, but maybe they do it. Maybe they start putting out team of the year type SBC content beforehand, like some voting SBCs or something. I, I honestly don't know. Um, but other than that, I mean, the most content that I would expect for a Thursday would be the league SBC. We just got this this one, the EFL Championship. Um, but there are still some leagues that we haven't gotten yet. Uh, we have not gotten La Liga. So that would be a league SBC that I would expect to be coming pretty soon. That would be the perfect type of SBC to drop this week um, and stuff like that. So again, if you haven't checked your clubs for the EFL Championship players, maybe, maybe check those out as well. But again, good luck with your rewards today. I just kind of wanted to bring you guys a video today talking about some of the things that I see on the market as we head into team of the year and we'll do some more things with the team of the year cards and watch the market of course this weekend as we get into the, the weekend and see the sell-off and see the prices and the movements and stuff that happens on the game before we head into the biggest Monday on foot which that is uh team of the freaking year boys I'm excited hope you guys are excited as well it's gonna be a fun time I hope that they just make this a good team of the year make it a good fun promo Maybe do something new, throw something in, you know, throwing something into packs would be a super EA move, but we'll see what happens. Uh, and, and yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But team of the year is almost here, boys. And that was the effect of loading screen. I don't think that'll affect the market really this week because it's four days away and people know that they have to play weekend league, right? There's a lot of newer people to this game. It's still winter break for a lot of people that are on, on school. A lot of kids that are in high school, if you're in the UK, if you're in the U S and you're still on winter break, you know, you have more time to play this game at the moment. That's more people playing foot champs. If people got the game for Christmas, they might have enough rivals points now to play foot champs or, you know, foot champs points. You can't get the 2000 right away. So you might see more people actually in this weekend league because uh, more people got the game for Christmas and they had the time to grind games and grind rivals 
to be able to get those foot champions qualification points. So that's something to think about as well. And that's another reason why I think the market could rise a little bit this weekend. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.